Hey YouTube, Pallav here from nothingwire.com. We have the Coolpad Mega 2.5D. Uh, we already did an unboxing and first look of this device. This is the full review. So this device is already available in India for just under 7,000 INA, uh, which should be roughly about $100, just over $100. And it's available exclusively on Amazon.in. In fact, uh, the next sale is on August 31st. Once you open the box on top, you find the device we'll come back to the device in just a bit we'll quickly go through this you have the sim opener tool out there here you'll have the other documentation and then you have the earphones which are pretty nice actually you tested them and then the micro usb cable plus the 1.5 ampere wall charger that's about the content of the box really so there's the Coolpad Mega 2.5D, it's a beautifully crafted body, it's a mixture of metal, glass and plastic. In fact from the top, uh, from the front side, actually it looks more like the almost more than 3 times pricier Coolpad Max, which is a great thing. You have that 5.5 inch screen, HD resolution, 8 MP front camera, that's the USB of this device and some sensors and stuff, your shortcut key is going to be on the screen, your volume rocker, micro USB 2.0 port, a mic power button and your dual sim arrangement there 3.5 mm jack camera led flash noise cancelling mic and speaker grill i like this uh, camera module design however the camera is popping up just a tad bit this part is plastic but has this nice matte finish gold accent very subtle gold i love this this part won't attract a lot of fingerprints this ring is metal however uh, but you would not even know because they are so seamlessly integrated here you cannot open this back flap very nicely very nicely crafted device you also have this 2.5d um, you know glass here curved on the edges that's why it's called cool pen mega 2.5d overall very nice device also quite light actually so that's the 5.5 inch hd resolution display and although it's not the crispest because obviously it's an HD display but it's bright enough and if you go to our color card here you'll see that the color reproduction is also quite good because you can see the difference between this very closed reddish gamut and also these two uh, bluish gamut you can see that this one is darker this one is darker so it's reproducing the color quite well but of obviously not uh, up to the full HD level uh, even the viewing angle is actually very very good we have to go around about uh, here even here you can see the colors very accurately so even even on a very wide angle actually the color is not faded so overall i would say a very decent display now this guy is powered by android marshmallow we have android 7 on some of the devices only so we can still consider this as the latest one some of the quick details over there 3 gb ram uh, 16 gb internal storage you obviously uh, can insert a micro sd card an mtk mediatek 6735p one gigahertz quad core cpu that's a slightly underpowered version of the one that you find on coolpad note 3 Lite. that was i think it's clocked at 1.3 gigahertz resolution and it says available 7.89 gb let's go ahead and check out how much of the storage we actually get so out of 16 gb it says you should get about 10 gb and out of 10 gb about 2.18 gb is used but obviously some of those would go in the system apps so you'd get even less as far as memory is concerned in one day less than 50 percent is used out of 3 gb that's really good and cool that's always been known for very good memory management let's look at some of the apps you have the uh, usual google android apps plus lots of coolpad in-house apps lots actually probably you would not even need many of those and they cannot be uninstalled you have amazon obviously because it's selling exclusively on amazon let's check out the camera i'm still into the pro mode because i generally shoot in the pro mode here you can customize many things and despite of having to focus on a white background it's doing quite good that's the beauty mode where you can increase the beauty level more or less you have the photo mode the video mode know that the maximum resolution it goes is 720p you also have a specific night mode where it's going to bump up the iso and then the usb of this device the front camera which almost does not lag and has great detail you can see here good enough 
yeah so when i focus well with my video camera you can see the details out there so very good front camera again it can also record at 720p and then you can have some of those shooting modes and then you can go to the details settings now we have tested the image and video quality of this and well uh, for the price point it actually gave out quite decent amount of details both uh, back and the front cameras under enough light the detail level is quite good the color reproduction is fine more towards natural noise creeps in uh, under low light but still i think again for the price point it's giving quite good uh, jpeg outputs the front camera is really good it has a quite wide uh, field of view so that even when you want to take those group selfies those are possible the front camera is 8 mp so good enough resolution and under low light again noise creeps in we would have liked an led here but still i think for the price point both cameras are great So decent bass and treble via the speakers it's not very loud though and whenever you keep it on a flat surface the sound also gets obstructed i would say it's a decent one but we've seen better good surround sound very natural voice it's not digitally enhanced at all and because of the great viewing angle, the movie viewing experience, even for multiple people, would be cool. Overall, the UI is quite smooth and snappy for daily uses. But when I use it um, heavy, I have like multiple apps in the background, then it starts to lag at times. But obviously, your most probably is not going to uh, stress test it too much. In that cases, for moderate uses, I think it should be just about fine. The 2500 mAh battery gave us, gave us just over eight and a half hours of screen on time which i would say is a very good uh, thanks to the hd resolution of the 5.5 inch display 2500 at now um, i know in today's state is a substandard battery but eight and a half hours overall screen time is a very very good we did some benchmark testing on this device well on in most of those tests uh, it scored below average we also threw in some games it could play them uh, well decently lagging at times so then guys, do you want the Coolpad Mega 2.5D and would you going to take part in the sale happening on Amazon.in next on August 31st? Um, let's talk about some of the pros and cons. The biggest strength of this device are the design and the price. The price obviously is the biggest advantage. Only 7,000, you're getting a 5.5 inch screen. You're also getting 3 GB of RAM and you're getting one gigahertz processor, which is okay. But the camera is also very decent and 8 MP front camera is really cool. Some of the pros is obviously an underpowered uh, chipset. So the power is not going to be very, very, you know, wild and also uh, plastic back if you go one or two thousand over this price point you'll get a whole metal body now depending on whether that actually makes sense to you but because the design is very beautiful and despite of being plastic actually feels quite sturdy and good also protected by 2.5d does not have a fingerprint though that's one thing you have to take care of and supports micro sd card but also supports two sim as well uh, that's a dual hybrid sim arrangement so that's cool so it has some of the pros some of the cons but more pros than the cons and specifically when you consider the price point i think it's a great device uh, at this price point totally recommended if you like this video please hit the like button ask anything related to this and we'll try to answer them all and please subscribe to our channel and share this video to share the love thank you